Brace family, what's up guys? I hope you guys are doing awesome. Um, we haven't uploaded any videos in a little while. Reason for that has been raining in South Florida almost every day for like the last three weeks. So it makes going out and filming a video a pain in the butt. Um, along with that, I was sick for five or six days with fever, not feeling like myself at all. My voice was all messed up. I'm back to being myself now. Um, I do have three videos, starting with the one from today. Today's video will be a small cruise to Cars and Coffee, Palm Beach. They do that once a month and it's a huge turnout. I got there a little late, but it's always a good time to go out, meet some new people, talk to some old friends. So that'll be today's video. I have a couple days ago, I went to the dyno and recorded that. I'll have to edit that video and upload it as well, um, along with some other stuff that I'll be giving you guys as well. And this week, I plan on going to the track on Friday. This weekend is very likely that I meet up with that racing channel. Um, to do a collab, do something together. So that could be exciting as well. So lots of cool things coming guys. But like I said, hopefully if all things go well, track on Friday. Um, I plan on turning the car up higher than ever, hoping for that seven second pass. A 789 would be freaking crazy. Um, and it should do it at near 180 miles an hour. So the car is running really, really strong. All the ignition pop issues we were having before are done. We're beyond that guys. So you guys will see more of that on the dyno video, but just to give you guys a quick update, when we raced over in Bradenton, the guys over from Induction Performance, they offered me their badass coil pack and I couldn't refuse, I jumped on it. And guys, they work like a charm. It's a little dark in the garage now, but I'll give you guys more videos and pictures, but um, I can't fit the factory cover on here anymore. Now it's got this billet, billet piece with all the coils up top. Um, but you know what, it looks really cool, it looks aggressive. And it was the very first time ever that I've gone to a dyno session and not needed to gap the plugs. Every time since I can remember that I've gone to the dyno, we start turning the boost up and up and up till we start ignition, uh, we start experiencing ignition pops. And at that point, I gotta tear the car apart, take the spark plugs out, gap them lower, try again. And these spark plugs are like burning hot after a pool. So it's not fun. This was the very first time we went to the dyno, made good power and there was no need to touch nothing. Uh, the car is very happy. I gave the car, I don't wanna give away too much, guys, a lot of cool videos coming up, but I gave, a, I gave a buddy a ride the other day and we went some crazy top speed and the car was flawless, it ran beautiful. So we're excited for this weekend, we're gonna turn it up a bunch. Guys, I think I've said it before, but if you guys don't follow us on Instagram, do so. Look me up under Baltic underscore Supra. So Baltic, like the name of the channel, B-A-L-T-I-C underscore Supra. Um, we post a lot more things to Instagram than we do to, to YouTube. So you guys can really follow along with the progress of the car and stay on top of it that way as well. So I'll catch you guys soon. Enjoy today's video. What's happening, race family? I hope you guys are doing awesome. I haven't recorded any videos in about a week or so. I had a bad cold. I finally got over it. I was sick for about a week. And now to top it off, I got my baby and my wife sick, so they're not—they're at home not feeling too well themselves. I wasn't planning on going out today, but we're gonna do a quick drive-by. The Palm Beach Cars and Coffee, this is one of the biggest cars and coffee in the nation, if not possibly the biggest. I have some buddies with Supers that are out there, so we're gonna drive by and say what's up to them. It's not far from my house at all. Thing. All cars 
cars and coffees, they always do that. Most of the cars and motorcycles I've seen leaving there, everyone's got GoPros. There's two bikes here next to me now that have GoPros on their helmets. There's a Hellcat with a GoPro inside like what I have now. There was a Focus that went by, a Focus ST with the GoPro on the side. I'll do my research on this place, guys, but I'm almost certain this is the biggest cars and coffee in North America. This thing gets packed. Mostly everyone's leaving now. I got the boost turned up like usual. That doesn't surprise me. I don't have a knob in this car, I have an up and down switch. I think I've explained to you guys a little bit before how that works, but in this car, if I have it flicked up, I can utilize my boost by speed. So I go on my laptop and I can set up the boost ramp however I want it. So it's not turned to absolute kill, but it's as close to as much as I can get away with on the street before it starts spinning the tires. Um, and then if I flick it down, it goes to wastegate pressure. Wastegate pressure is probably like close to 25 pounds of boost. It'll probably still make 800 wheel, but I never flick it down to 800 wheel. That's, that's boring as shit for me. So even as it is right now, the boost settings that now might be like 800 or so in first gear, and then come the time it ramps, it goes into second gear, it'll start at like 850, and end up second gear at like 1100, and then third gear goes to like 1200 wheel, the way I have it set up right now. I can turn it up more, but this is, this will hook regardless whichever street I'm on. If I was on a better street, I could definitely turn it up some more. But for street driving, this is plenty. I was watching a video not long ago on like a super review. And the guy who was reviewing the, the owner, he asked him, he's like, oh, I mean, why make a thousand horsepower? Is that, is that too much? Is that too much for the street? I don't think I've ever thought anything is too much. You gotta be crazy. Leave this car, for example, leave it at 800 horsepower, 700. Never in the freaking world would I do that. It's never too much. It might be too much in first gear, but shit. Throw the 1300 at 120 miles an hour, it's not gonna spin then. And no, it's not too much. It'll feel amazing. I never turn the car down. Yeah, everyone's leaving now, guys. Which is good for us. Shit, we might find something on the way out of here. We might find ourselves a race. I saw the B-Lar from CCW, the new yeah, ones. Yeah, this is hard. This is badass. Oh, show me you guys this car. Guys, we got these badass Supras. This is the Carbon Edition Z06, right? Yeah. I used to have two Z06s. I had a blue one and a black one, just like this, but not the Carbon Edition. Uh, anniversary, Centennial. Uh, that's 9,000 miles. That's how, when I bought my first one, the blue one has 7,000 miles, and my black one had like 10 or 11,000 miles. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. I used to have, I had my black one along with my Supra, and it's like completely different worlds. All the throttle response on this and like the drivability was a lot of fun. Two, two different worlds. Yeah, yeah. 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 My Supra makes like 950 foot pounds of torque, but it's just, it's a different type of torque than what this is. It's different, bro. It's a different, <laughs> different driving, bro. Nice, bro. What exhaust manifold is that? Uh, it's a Dock Race. Still, I'm waiting to pull the motor to have everything resprayed. I waited forever, dude. I was like, I don't want to do it. And I finally, I was like, I got it. Fuck it, I'll do it now. I got to do it. Which one's the fastest one here? Fucking beautiful. What kind of power does that make? Uh, the blue one makes 13, 36 to the tire. Nice. What kind of, what kind of quarter mile? They're not slow, but they're tougher, right? Um, this one makes 1,019. Uh, this one's just a ton over 900. Uh, this one, last time I think we ran uh, 10.0. Uh, he's having some issues. The blue one have nitrous? Yeah. So 
what's your pad without, what kind of power is it make without nitrous? It made 1336 no spray. I use the nitrous to spool the turbo at the track. That's it. Yeah. You live right here? Yep. You guys, have, you guys have fast cars too, I take it? I have a fast GTR. Yeah? What color is it? Blue with a drag wing on it. I feel like I've seen it. I feel like I met you one time at that freaking, that clean culture show at the baseball field. Short black. Guys, this thing beautiful or what? This thing is mint. This car makes a thousand nineteen wheel horsepower, if I'm not mistaken. It's a six-speed super. He's ran a personal best of like 10.0. I'm not sure the mile an hour, but fucking beautiful. DTW classic. This thing is mint condition. Made him turn back. He's coming for some. Beautiful. That thing's fucking mint. These cars have a very, very unique following. For some odd reason, I've never been a huge fan, but badass fucking car. This one's freaking mint condition. What's up, brother? Beautiful car, man. Thing, thing is fucking mint. Thanks, man. You know, Smiley. Yes, yes. Yeah. You're Smiley's friend? Oh, man. That's my, <laughs> that's my family. Good shit. Yeah. This is you? Yeah. Hey. Uh, he he tell you? Yeah. You've had this for a long time? Yeah, a good little while, man. I had a home. Um, the, uh. I mean, it was gonna go. Probably meet up with you, but. Dude, this thing looks like it just rolled out of a fucking line. Right oh, you. What the hell? Who yelled out slow? Oh, is this one of these guys teasing around? <laughs> I thought he knew you. I thought it was you. No, no, no. I was no. like, alright, I'm gonna roll up. No, no, no. Fucking beautiful, dude. We gotta do a review for the channel. One day we gotta meet up. I've never, I've never oh, been in one of these. That's incredible. Oh, thanks. I try to keep it that way. <laughs> this guy's so good. I knew it was one of y'all. I was like, I thought it was him. I know it was. I was like, all right, I got him because I know him anyway, so it's all right. Had to be him. JDM from the 90s, that's what's up. Hey man. Don't do not do this to your car. Leave yours original like everybody, that. Everybody's <laughs> telling me, man. I'm making decent power. No, we're not, not, not like yeah. this. I don't want to dismount it because it's a real beast, man. I, I figured. I yeah. figured. I got the extended fins. The whole bottom is real common fiber. I didn't, I didn't even know that they made it like that from Nissan. It's crazy.
stretch the road to get on it. saying I'm done driving it with this coil pack the ignition pops on the freeway they were getting even worse second gear was no problem but the second it would shift the third I guess the boost goes even higher there's more engine load it was popping like crazy um, the other coil pack I'm gonna be installing the one that I bought for induction performance I have it all wired is ready to go but it's gonna require some adjustments to my tune and my tuner has been out of town so I haven't wanted to put that in and then I can't drive the car at all or or won't be able to step on it at all so I haven't installed it yet, but the tuner should be back in town this week. I'm gonna put the new coils on here, get a fresh set of spark plugs back in there, and hopefully those ignition pop issues will be done once and for all. Um, but nonetheless, car feels amazing. That second gear pull squeezes you to the freaking chair. But third gear, forget about it. Um, nothing's changed. I guess just maybe the spark plugs get worse and worse and worse, or something's happening, because this is the exact same setup as when we went to 80 at 175 in the track and even a little less boost and it wasn't popping at all at the drag strip and now it's popping like crazy now so hopefully we get all that sorted soon we can get right back to drag racing guys so there'll be a lot more videos coming for you guys um if you guys don't follow our instagram do so i, I post a lot of pictures and little clips and a lot of updates on the car and what we're up to if we're going to be at any events or shows i'll post it on there um it's baltic underscore supra I post a lot more to Instagram than I do to YouTube, so you guys can follow the car's progress and follow the story on there as well. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. See you guys later.